Hello, welcome to Anita the Pedagogue channel. Today we want to look at the historical context of Anthony and Cleopatra by William Shakespeare. The plot of Anthony and Cleopatra is based on Thomas North's 1579 English translation of Plutarch's Lives in Ancient Greek and follows the relationship between Cleopatra and Mark Anthony from the time of the Sicilian Revolt, an ancient Roman civil war waged between 42 BC and 36 BC by the forces of the Second Triumvirate and Sextus Pompey, the last surviving son of Pompey the Great and the last leader of the Optimate faction, to Cleopatra's suicide during the War of Actium. The setting for Anthony and Cleopatra is the whole of the Roman Empire, which includes Egypt. The story's action takes place roughly two years after the events of Shakespeare's earlier play about the Roman Empire, titled Julius Caesar. At the beginning of that tragedy, Julius Caesar has triumphed over his rival Pompey the Great, the father of young Pompey in Anthony and Cleopatra, and aspires to kingship. Julius Caesar is then assassinated by Cassius and Brutus, who hope to preserve the Roman Republic. Instead, Cassius and Brutus are defeated by Mark Anthony and Octavius Caesar, Julius's nephew, who join Marcus Aemilius Lepidus to create a three-man government or triumvirate over the empire. Anthony has taken control of the eastern provinces, including Egypt, while Octavian rules the western provinces. When the armies of the Triumvirate track down the armies of the assassins during the civil war, Egypt refuses to participate on the Triumvirate side. Anthony summons Queen Cleopatra to Tarsus, Sicilia, present-day Turkey, to explain Egypt's position. But Anthony falls in love with her and returns with her to Alexandria, Egypt. Shakespeare's play begins there in Alexandria. The two became lovers and formed a political alliance, with Anthony supporting Cleopatra's rule over Egypt and Cleopatra providing him with military and financial resources. Their relationship was controversial in Rome, where many saw Cleopatra as a threat to Roman power and influence. The Roman Senate, led by Octavian, later known as o later known as Augustus, declared war on Anthony and Cleopatra in 31 BC. The decisive battle occurred at Actium, where Octavian's forces defeated Anthony and Cleopatra's fleet. Anthony and Cleopatra fled to Egypt, where they eventually committed suicide in 30 BC. Their deaths marked the end of the Ptolemaic dynasty in Egypt and the beginning of Roman rule over the country. This brings us to the end of the historical context. In this playlist, you will find a summary and analysis of Act 1 to Act 5. Kindly check it, the characterization, the themes, and the setting. Until I come your way again, keep learning and be the best version of yourself.